Hi everyone, Carol Ann here. If you haven't visited our YouTube channel in a while, neither have we. <laughs> we used to do unboxing videos, but now my daughter's in high school, so our last video is like four years ago. Um, so if you don't know us, um, my daughter and I are Cat and Caw, and our newest adventure is now treasure hunting. And if you haven't seen the Golden Greed series on Netflix, I highly recommend checking that out. Um, so this year we've been focusing our efforts on finding treasure. Uh, so this video is for the treasure hunters. Uh, I'm hoping to provide some information that will be useful regardless of where you're searching. Um, and so uh, for those who don't know, this is Justin Posey's uh, Beyond the Map's Edge treasure hunt. Um, so today I'm going to talk about clock times and degrees and how to convert those into azimuth. And there's been a lot of talk about the times in the video on Netflix. Uh, there's some times mentioned in the book as well. Um, we've been doing the math ourselves. I just thought it'd be really handy to kind of create a table that everyone could use and apply to their search. Um, so I'm going to start with some, you know, rudimentary information about clock times and how they work and, you know, the percent of degrees per hour and minute and things like that. And then I created a spreadsheet. Um, it's just a quick list for you to go and check, you know, minute hand and hour hand versus azimuth. And then I've created some sample times that are times that are going to be familiar to the treasure hunting community because they're times that you see in the video on Netflix, um, as well as some times in um, the series that relate to things like Christmas videos, the Hearst interview, uh, birthday parties, things like that. And then um, a couple of times that were mentioned in the book. And there is one I'm missing and I'll go back and fix it later. But the important part was I created a conversion uh, formula, and I know some of you are going to like just tune out right now, and I don't blame you. Uh, and I'll share the file in a minute, but that section in the middle where the red boxes are, um, you'll get this file in a minute. Um, and I'll upload it on Facebook as well. You'll be able to put in um, the hour and the minutes for any time reference that comes up or that you might want to use. It will convert it into degrees. And then you could either figure out how to use that if you're going to do a sum, if you're going to look at the difference and create a range. Uh, I don't really know what to do with this information myself either, but we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, but first, I want to talk a little bit about that guy. Um, this clock has survived like six moves, but the last move did not go well for the clock. Um, mostly my fault, actually all my fault. I got it off the wall and I was on a step stool and just as I got to the last step it went like up and over my head the crazy thing is the the clock bounced and like made like an oval shape and then popped back out and the glass just went flying out um it was really thin glass it was like a contact lens just disappeared but the clock still works and it's so big you can actually see it moving when it's when it's running um it's also a little clicky it makes a lot of noise so you don't want to sleep next to this um, but I just wanted to go over some basic information about uh, degrees and clocks, and a lot of you know this already, but um, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about why two hands on the number three will never happen. It's like a fake time that they put in all the kids' books, and it really annoys me because, yeah. Um, so anyway, um, as you know, five minutes on the clock for the minute hand, minute hand is the big hand, um, is 30 degrees. And so we go 30, 60, 90, 120, down to 180, 270, 300, and then back to 360. That's pretty basic. So anytime you see an hour hand on a minute, you simply multiply that number by six and you get the number of degrees. So if the minute hand is on the two, um, and that's at 10 minutes after the hour, you multiply that by six, you get 60 degrees pretty basic. Um, the hour hand is a little different though, even though it's going around the clock, it's doing it at a much different rate. Uh, the minute hand covers 360, degree, 360 degrees per hour, whereas the hour hand only covers 30 degrees per hour. So it's only going from here to here per hour. And when you divide that, uh, that comes out to half a degree per minute. Yes, is that correct? Yes. Half a degree. Um, so the formula I created in here will will actually calculate all of this for you. You don't have to do it in your head. Um, but I created a spreadsheet, and I'll see if I can share. 
I apologize. I've got like three monitors. There you go. I have three monitors. I don't know if it's going to come up on the video, though. I don't think it is. Um, yeah, I got things to learn here. I haven't made a video in a while um, and I have not gone live. I think on the next one, I will try to go live because I have what I think is the technical clue. And I only know this because I remember when the person posted it, I commented. Um, I used to be a middle school engineering and design teacher, and I did an entire class on this topic. And I'm working on creating some graphs to go with it. And I had to switch the four boxes per inch was too big. And so now I had to get the 10 boxes per inch version to fit what I'm trying to do onto one page. Uh, but basically, I'm creating an overlay that you can put on your map um, and follow a certain pattern. Um, I'll share that in the next video. Uh, but today, getting back to the clock, um, I created a chart that covers the, the, the hot times that we talk about. Uh, for example, 419. We look at 419. And I'll just do it the easy way. 419. 19 times 6. You get uh, 100 and sorry, the four is on the 120, the minute hands on 114. So six times 19 is 119 degree, 114 degrees. And then for the hour hand, uh, the base time is 120, but uh, the hour hand moves 9.5 degrees in the time that the minute hand goes around to 19. Um, so you come up with a total, it's on the chart, I'll share it. Um, but basically I went through and I put all the times in um, and converted them into degrees. And then you can look at the differences. There are a couple that came up where the range difference is close enough that you would search in, a, in an area. Um, I don't think it's relevant when you know, the range from the minute degree to the hour degree is so wide that it doesn't like, you know, make your search zone any smaller. Um, so that's on there. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I'm going to share the file. You guys can use it, you know, apply it to any search you want. Um, and then when I come back next time, I will share uh, what I think might possibly be the technical clue. Could be wrong, but I'm going to cover it anyway. Um, I don't know if I'll go live because I'm still new at this. And obviously, I don't know how to share my screen because I share it in meetings and people can see it, but I can't see it. Um, so I don't know what happens when I do that, um, if this pops up at all. Um, but I guess I'll see. I'll play this back and see if that comes up at all. Um, but basically, I'm just looking at the chart here and, you know, seeing the formula. In this one, I put 739. Uh, that's a time mentioned in the book. That was when uh, the boys got back from being out too late uh, and their mother was waiting for them with dinner. Um, so, yeah, that that shows you where 739 comes out in degrees. Uh, the hour hand is at 229.5. The minute hand is at 234, which is 39 times 6. And then uh, the difference is only 4.5 degrees. So to me, that's a search area that's, you know, reasonable, that if you're going to look in a certain area. So a point about azimuth, though, this is pointing north. All of the calculations on here are based on, you know, true north or cardinal north. I'm really not sure. But if you're out in the field, the azimuth is just going to be what you're facing. So what you're facing might not be north. You know, you might be facing east and you're returning her face and you're looking for that 20 degrees. You know, you're going to add the, the measurements to your starting point, which is, you know, your north. Um, that's why they say got your six because your six is always behind you, regardless of whether you're you're facing north or not. Um, so that's the azimuth piece or, you know, the, the part of the search where you're going to use these numbers, but you're not necessarily it's not 20 degrees facing north. It's 20 degrees from where you're facing. Um, but anyway, I will stop sharing this because I don't know if it's working. And I guess we'll find out when I play this back if it did. Um, and that's it. Um, good to see everybody. If you um, if you don't know me, I've been in the search since the book came out and the series came out. Um, but I did meet a lot of cool people at the the meetup in North Carolina, and I will be in Vegas. Uh, so I'm looking forward to meeting more of you in person. And I hope this helps. Take care.